Hi guys, and welcome to my little tutorial. Today, we're going to be making these, I'm calling them spiral paper flowers. So I'll be showing you how to make these guys today. Um, I put mine on paper clips. You don't need to use paper clips. You could put them on anything that you want. You can use magnets, you can put them on pens for bulletin boards, or you can just bypass putting anything on the back at all and just use them as little paper embellishments that you could glue anywhere that you want to put them. So um, let's go ahead and get started and I will show you the supplies that I used to create them. So, um, first you're going to need paper. I'm going to be using this paper here. I've already started, as you can see. Um, this is just textured cardstock from a paper pad that I got at Hobby Lobby. So you're going to need paper. You can use any paper that you want. Um, you'll also need scrap paper. I've been using this too. Um, you'll need, this is just um, regular white cardstock that you would get from Walmart or anywhere. Um, you'll also need scissors and a bone folder. You'll also need some of this stuff here. This is actually, um, it's called Fun Fur. If you're looking for it at the at the craft store it's usually with the the yarn because it's typically used for knitting and crocheting um, scarves and stuff but I use it for everything else so you'll need some of that um, to ink the edges you'll also need some distress ink I'm gonna be making this one again in which I've used this color Victorian velvet so you'll need some of that along with a blending tool with a little foam piece on it. Um, since I'm putting mine on paper clips, I'm also going to need a paper clip for the back. You'll also need a um, circle punch. For this one, I'm using five and a, five eighths of an inch. I like the size that it gives me. It fits perfectly on a paper clip. So, next, we're going to be using three types, three different types of glue. Um, one is the hot glue gun to put the paper clip onto the backing. The second one is the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I like it because it, um, it takes a little bit longer to dry than then the third glue and I like that because well you'll see later on in the video but you're gonna need something that takes a is quick drying but yet doesn't dry as quick as glossy accents which is our third glue I'm gonna use glossy accents on the on the enamel dot here um, just because I love the hold that it has on the enamel dot I mean, once it's on there, it doesn't come off. And I really like that about glossy accents. I use glossy accents on pretty much anything to do with my enamel dots. So that being said, you will also need enamel dots. Um, these are my homemade enamel dots. I made them actually by melting pony beads in my oven. I recently did a video on how I made them in my kitchen. Um, if you want to know how I made them. You can look back into my videos and it should be there. It's They're relatively recent. It's a recent video so it shouldn't be that hard to find. And let's see. I think that's all we're gonna need for this the flowers here. Oh and you will also need a pen. Just a regular pen. I like a sharpie because it bleeds a little bit. So, I'm going to clear off a little area here. Alright. So, 
So first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to punch out a circle. So we're just going to punch out a circle from our scrap piece of paper. Alright, now on this we're going to need to give our best estimate for the center. I'm just going to put a little dot where it looks like the center, where it looks to be the center. Um, just so our, we're going to follow the circle around a little bit, the, the dot here. We're going to follow the dot around just so we get a, a good circle flower so it doesn't go all lopsided or anything. So we have that. Now we're going to be using our paper for the flower. Okay. Now, with this, I like the look of 10 petals. That's what I'm going to call them, I guess, is petals. So, all these flowers here have 10 petals. Um, I have already pre made nine, just because I think that um, on the video it'd probably be quite boring to watch me make 10 of the same exact things. So, I've already pre-made nine of them. So I'm just going to do the the tenth one with you. You'll have to make nine or however many that you want. So we're going to punch out a circle from our paper and then we're going to ink it with our distress ink. We're just going to ink the edges. Sorry if there's any noise going on in the background, my dog. We went to the park today and we forgot her frisbee in my husband's car from last night. So she is extremely grouchy today since she didn't get to play with her frisbee at the park since we forgot it. So anyway, now we have edges of our circle inked and we're at this point just going to fold it. Just fold it in half. Okay. And we're going to take our bone folder and just give that a good crisp crease there. Okay. And then I like to go back over the crease with some more Distress ink. I like to ink these because it gives it really makes it pop. The petals pop against the against each other. Um, I made one that didn't that didn't have distress ink on it. Actually, I think I have it here. This one here. That's a smaller one, but it just looks very. It looked very flat, and I didn't really like it. So. I definitely love the look of the distress ink that it gives it. So, anyway, we're going to pretend that I just did 10 of them just now. Make sure I have 10. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. So we have the 10. Now, I'm going to use just a little bit of this scrap paper here. I'm going to pour some of this quick dry adhesive onto it. Just a little gob like that. And I like to use a toothpick um, to get just a little tiny bit of glue but you can use whatever you have. I'm going to use a toothpick. So you're going to take a little little dab of glue and you're going to want to put just smear it on the back of the petal here. And now we're going to put it, we're going to line it up with the dot, the black dot that we made, just like that. Okay. Then you're going to take the second one, do the same, just put a little bit of glue on it. Ok. 
Okay. And you're going to open the first one up and put this inside of it, following the black dot around. And close it up. You can position it where you want it now. Okay. And we're just going to continue doing that all the way around. Make sure that your edges are, you're keeping the same edges one way. Put this one inside the other, following the dot, just like that. And the next one. Putting it inside. Now, for the fifth one, um, I like, logically, since there's ten petals, it should be halfway, or to the halfway point of the paper. I like my curve of the petal to be just a little bit over the halfway point. Just like that. Maybe a little bit less. Yep, just like that. As you can see, it's not not really halfway, just a little bit over halfway. And then we're going to continue working the other half of the petal, or flower, the other half of the flower. Put it inside, following the dot. This one needs to be pushed down. Okay. Moving on along. So now we're on our last two. We're going to need more adhesive. Okay. Let's spread these out just a little bit more. That's good, just like that. Okay. Now, this last one is a little bit tricky um, because you're going to need to put, get it inside here like the other one. So you're going to want to go back to the first one that you did and just pull it out. This is why I don't like to use glossy accents for this part is because it dries just a little bit too quick to do that. So... Once you have it pulled apart, you're going to get more adhesive here, put it on the back, click the rest of them, and you're just going to slide the first, the first petal inside this one and just put it right in there. Just like that. Okay. So now you have the base for your flower. At this point, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and I don't like them lifting up like this, like this one is, so I like to put adhesive inside the petals and just tack them down to each other because otherwise 
if you just leave it as is, it you'll see the white on the inside here from the paper, and I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my adhesives, you know, just more of the adhesive, the Scotch Quick Dry, and just put a little bit inside and hold it down. Just like that. Wipe away any excess that comes out. And I'm going to go ahead and do this um, all the way around to every petal. Um, I'll probably put this, I'll fast forward this in post-processing so you don't have to watch this whole process. Okay, so now that we have them all tacked down, I'm going to go ahead and just let it dry for a little while, or for a few minutes, that way it doesn't pop off or fall apart or anything happen on our next steps. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it hang out there and dry a little bit. Um, at this point, I'd usually just start on another one while that dries and then come back to it. So um, I'm going to let it dry and I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. It looks like it's pretty, pretty sturdy and dry now. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is we're going to put on our enamel dot and start with the hot gluing and stuff. So. We're going to go ahead and get a white dot out. Okay. Going to see if glossy accents is going to cooperate. Yep. Okay. Going to put a little bit of glue on the gloss or I'm going to put a little bit of glossy accents on the enamel dot. And we're just going to put it on. Wipe away any excess. Okay. So now while that's drying a little bit, we're going to um, get everything else ready. Um, I like to punch out one extra one extra dot for the backing from the paper clip to make it match. So we'll just do one more, one more circle punch here, and we're gonna get our fun fur. Find the end of it. Here it is. Just gonna snip off just a little piece. Okay. Now with this. Um, I like to just grab an end and just roll it around itself using my fingers. Just like that. Until I reach the end. And I'll just tuck the end in there. Fluff out any pieces. All the little fibers. Oops, the end coming out. All right, now we're going to flip our flower over and we're just going to put a gob of hot glue down. And I'm just going to put the fibers right in the hot glue. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be pretty because we're going to cover it up. Fluff out the fibers. See, it looks ugly, but you'll never know from the other side of it, huh? 
Oh no, my, my, my enamel dot is screwed up. That's okay. I'll just put more. Didn't wait long enough, I guess, huh? So, now that we have a biff up here, clean it up a little. Okay. So, with that on, we're going to put more hot glue. We're going to put our paper clip in here this time. And right away, we're going to cover it up with our. Our backing of the circle and we're gonna hold it apparently hold both sides <laughs> until the hot glue um, hardens Alright, and there you have it. So I hope this tutorial um, helped you a little bit, was um, inspired you maybe, um, showed you something that you didn't think of before. Um, if you have any questions or comments um, we'll just pretend like my enamel dot didn't fall off the first time there. Like it didn't happen, huh? Um, any questions, comments, just comment and let me know. Um, any suggestions as I'm trying to make my channel, um, as good as, good as it can be since I'm still kind of new at it. I think I'm getting better. Um, just let me know anything at all. Um, any questions, I will do my best to answer. Um, and I hope this was informative and helpful. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.